Hello kids. Today I'm going to tell you another new Panchatantra story. And today's story is titled The Crane and the Crab. Long time ago in a jungle was a beautiful lake. In the lake lived a lot of animals varying from fishes and crabs to crocodile and other sea animals. Near that lake lived a clever deceitful crane. The crane had now gotten very old and he didn't have the same zeal to hunt food. One day the crane came up with a strategy to hunt fishes and crabs. He went to the shore of the lake and began to evoke fake tears. The fishes got surprised on seeing the crane cry. One of the fishes questioned the crane. "Uncle crane, what happened? Why are you crying? What is bothering you?" On seeing so many fishes around him, the crane got very excited. However, he tried his best to hide his emotions and replied to the fish in a very sadistic tone. "Sisters, I am likely to see you again after today." Why? What happened, Uncle Crane? Why are you saying such a thing? You can meet us any time you want. Well, what can I say? Today in the morning, I had a talk with the pundit. He told me that soon in the future, this lake will get dried up, and all the creatures living inside will have a painful death. I am in immense pain. I can't even eat or sleep. All the fishes got scared on listening what Crane said and went to their queen. Dear queen, this lake in which we live in is soon going to dry up. All of us are going to die. In my opinion, it will be right for us to take help of Uncle Crane. He is older and more experienced than us. He has been through many ups and downs. He will definitely find a solution. The queen liked the suggestion. She took all the fishes with her and reached the shore of the lake. She said to the crane, "Uncle Crane, the prophecy of the pundit is a matter of concern. I'm not able to figure out any solution. Please show us the right path." The crane had a watery mouth as he saw so many fishes around him. Somehow he managed to take control of his emotions and pretended to think. After a while, the crane replied, Don't you worry, dear queen. I have an idea to save all of you. There is another lake on the end of this jungle. One by one, I will take all of you to that lake. We have absolute trust on you. Which is why all of us have come to ask for your help. Our lives are in your hand, Uncle Crane. Take no worries, dear queen. It's my responsibility to take care of you and everyone else. From tomorrow onwards, I will begin to take you all to the other lake one by one. Okay, uncle. All the fishes returned to their home inside the lake, whereas Crane was feeling happy and proud on seeing his plan work. Next day, all the fishes reached the shore of the lake. The queen said to the first commuting fish, "Saloni, There is no need to worry. Travel unafraid with Uncle Crane. Very soon your uncle will bring your friends in that lake too. Crane took Saloni fish with him. However, the crane took the fish to some rock instead of the lake. Before the fish could understand anything, the crane crushed and ate her. Then he went back and told all the other fishes that he has dropped Saloni fish in the different lake. Next morning, the crane took another fish with him and ate that fish as well. Killing and eating fishes like this became his second nature. Then one day, it was the turn of the crab to travel with the crane. The crane took the crab as usual and thought to himself, "It has been a while since I have eaten a crab. At last, I can change my taste today." <laughs> After flying for a long time. The crane then began to come down at the same rock. The crab looked around in great shock. He couldn't spot any lake nearby. Rather noticed the dozens of bones of the fishes lying around. The crab understood everything wrong that the crane had done. The crab grabbed the throat of the crane and yelled, "You trickster! You have cheated all of us!" 
as an excuse of saving lives of all the fishes, you murdered them or here on this rock. I won't leave you alive to cheat any other fish. By saying so, the crab twisted the neck of the crane with full might. The crane tried his best to free his neck from crab's hold. But he couldn't do anything. The crane died after some time. The crab returned to the lake and told the truth to the queen and other fishes. That crane was a fraudster. He took all the fishes with him and ate them one by one. All the fishes looked at the crab in great shock. They felt immense pain for the death of their companions. But they were also happy for the intelligence of the crab that helped save the lives of the remaining fishes. So kids, from this story we learn a lesson that a destroyer can never be a savior. Beware of the fraudulent people. If you enjoyed this video, do like, share and comment. And to be the first person to watch our videos, make sure to subscribe the channel and press the bell icon for timely notifications.